I want to show you how you can create custom products in Shopware 6 even with variants. Hey everybody, it's Alexander from Shop Studio and let's take a look at the Shopware storefront and admin so I can show you how you can create your products for your Shopware store. The goal is that we create two different types of products, one regular product and one product with different variants. You first have to open your Shopware 6 admin interface. So basically we are here now and we are going to catalogs to products. Here on the right top side you can see that there is a button called add products so we click on it and here we go. So now we have to fill out some basic information. It could be like the title, let's say it's called um, my super product we can choose a manufacturer for example it's the shopware ag we have here like a product number we can enter a description and it's of course important to add the price too so we say it's like 100 euros and now you can see that you this is the gross value and if you for example click away it's automatically applied. This is a net value. It's really based on your taxes. Could be like the standard rate. And now you can see that we have 100 euro in gross and 84 euros in net. And I think this should be everything for now. Ah, this value should not be blank, so something is missing. Ah, okay, of course the stock. Let's say we have like 100 units available. And now we click on save. And here we go. We have created one product and now we go to the storefront and we can search for my super product. And it's available. So basically this is a really easy way. But you can see now of course that everything is empty. So we have only added some basic information. So let's take a closer look and see what we can add. Want to add the delivery time. It could be like two to five days, the restock time. We can, for example, say the min order quantity is maybe like two and the purchase steps are two. So basically it's only possible at least to order two oil products and then only like two, four, six, eight. So this is the interval. Visibility and structure. So here the sales channel, the default one is assigned. So basically the storefront. You can of course add more sales channel here, like maybe you want to add to the headless one. So it could be really interesting for the shopper PWA. We can have like different visibilities for the sales channel. We can say in the headless sales channel it's high in listing and in the storefront it's visible. We can assign categories to it. Let's say we want to add it to, I don't know, clothing. We can add text, we can add search keyword for the search. And by the way, sometimes you see those um, help badges, this question mark one. So sometimes it's a good idea if you don't know what a specific field is and you see this uh, badge or icon, you can just hover on it and then you get like a cool description. And sometimes it's even a really helpful one. Let's open the media. And let's, for example, take this shirt blue. We can add more medias too. For example, if we want to have a, like a slideshow or a gallery, let's say from, from this red shirt. We can add an a labeling, of course, this important number too. And let's Press on save and see what it looks like in the storefront. We refresh this page and we see we have more information. We have available delivery time, two to five days. We have two images, of course. You can see that it's only possible to order two, four, six, eight products because we have defined it like this. And for example, we have more information. You can, for example, have specification. Let's say the width is like, I don't know, 30 millimeters. The high is 30 and the length is 50. The weight could be like five kilograms, selling unit, scale unit. So basically these are just some units here. Packaging is so possible too. We can assign properties. For example, let's say the material is cotton. 
we can have like essential characteristics and this is uh, important for the shopping cart i can show you too okay this is like a default one we can have like different pricing um for example for different customer groups like customers from the usa maybe they don't have to pay like 100 they only have to pay like 60. click on save all right and here you can see the material is cotton and if we add this to the shopping cart okay here it's missing but for example if you define the essential characteristics correctly here you can for example show that the material is cotton too for example it could be like beneficial if you want to highlight a specific property to maybe sell more or to have like a better conversion in your checkout we skip the variance for now because i want to create a new products later and here for example we can assign like a product layout if we have like a special one which is um, built it was built via the shopping experiences we can assign it here and for the SEO feed, we can say, yeah, basically this is my super product. So this would be visible in Google or other search engines. We can have like um, a meta description here, description. We can have some keywords. I think it's, it can be beneficial to fill out with SEO keywords, but I think it's not really important for Google. If you have another opinion, you can write it directly to the comments, of course. If you scroll down to the bottom, here it's possible to change the SEO URLs. So basically, this is the part which is called SEO URL. So my super product slash SW10,000. And for example, if we want to change it for storefront, we can change it here. My super product is very cool. We save it. And now if we go back to the storefront, it's reachable here because the old URL is safe, but it's pointed with a canonical URL, or even it's possible to have a redirect here. But for example, if I open the new URL, so this is available here. So this is a way how to change the URL. And the SEO URLs, there are multiple resources in the shop um, which have the same behavior. For example, you can change them for categories too. So let's add some cross sellings. Add new cross selling here. Let's say. Um, we have like a cross-selling called other cool products. We can have make it active. We can change it to menu selection and now we can assign the products. So basically let's say a cool recommendation could be like the main product with properties. It could be variant products. And now we have added two products, but we can add more cross-selling here if needed. Now we are saving it and if we refresh the page, we can see that we have here our cross-selling other cool products. And now we can navigate to the products or add it to the shopping cart. Here you can see the reviews, but we don't have any of them. So basically to add reviews, you have to go to the storefront and now we can write a review. Of course, you have to log in, then you have to give a star rating and of course a comment. And then if you save it and the store owner, for example, you confirm it or allow it and um, it gets displayed here. And of course, you can see it here too. So basically to see all the reviews or to review your review, basically, um, you have to go here to the review sections. So let's try to create a, another one with variants. So um, let's go to the admin interface again. We click on add product. We say my product with variants. Um, of course, we have to end them price, a tax rate. The stock is 100. And this should be everything for now. My product with variants. Here we go. All right, to create variants, this is not very complicated. You have to go to the variants tab. You click on it. And now you have a very cool feature called a variant generator here in Shopware 6. So you just click on the variant generator and then you have to select the properties you have created in the Shopware administration. And let's say we want to create multiple variants based on the color and based on the size. So for example, we select that we want to have um, the color blue, red and white. 
And then we go to the size and we select that we want to have like, let's say S and M. And now we have selected five values, three colors, two sizes. And if you click on generate variants, all of the possible variants, all of the possible combination across all the properties will be created. So basically, small notice here, six variants will be added. So we generate it. We wait a little bit. And now we can see we have created six variants. So white S, white M, red M, blue M, red S, blue S. So we save it now. Refresh the page here. You can see that it's working. So basically we have our colors here. We can say we want to have like a red one uh, with a size M, S I mean, not M. And if we add to a shopping cart, we have created my product with variants and color red, size S. So basically this worked and this is very easy in shopware. And if you want to enrich your variants with more information, it's possible too. So for example, let's say we have like red M. So um, we can of course upload media here on this part, but um, it's also possible to edit the variant itself. And now you can see basically the same fields you already know from the previous main product. We have here the title, the product number, so you can override uh, some information to make this variant very specific. And it could be, for example, that we maybe want to upload the media. So first we have to uh, click on here, remove inheritance. Inheritance is, by the way, a feature uh, to avoid like um, adding your text titles twice. So the title, for example, is inherited by the main product because the main product title is my product with variant. This is the same title. But it could be possible, and I can show you, that you um, re remove the inheritance and change it to my product with variants in red. And for example, here we can remove inherited too. Then we can open a media. and select the shirt in red. Now we add the media, save it. Now we go back to the storefront. We refresh the page. And now we have to select the right size. So it was red, I think, with size M. And you can see that now you have a red shirt and my product with variants in red, the title is changed too, because we have changed it here. But please remember, it's only for this variant. Um, if you go, for example, to the blue one, you can see it's the title of the main product, of the parent product, because the color blue size M is still inherited. And I think this is a very great feature because there are some e-commerce platforms which aren't that easy or flexible. And I think you can avoid uh, much work with this procedure. All right, and I think that's all. So basically we have created a regular product and a product with a variance. And now, basically this is everything for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for new Shopware 6 tutorials, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.